Hey everybody, so welcome back to another video, another installment of our top 5 lures. Today I'm going to be covering my top 5 Cape Cod Striper lures and these are basically lures that I um, used when I was up there and all these uh, lures worked great. And if you guys are from the Northeast and fish the Cape Cod Canal, these are no stranger to you. I mean, basically this is everything you guys throw up there so so yeah let's go and start with number one so <clears throat> number one right here focus is a pencil popper this one in particular is a Gibbs Pro Series uh, 3 ounce and the blue macro color which I do recommend this color and then this one right here is just in the white so like, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know, my top fall, um, my top five fall top water lures, pencil poppers are in there. It's a must have in your bag. Um, in the morning, during the day when they're blitzing, and you, when, you, when you really have to reach and get to them, these things are so deadly. Um, <clears throat> I mean, there's so many good pencil popper makers out there, uh, so many brands and so many custom uh, lure makers making really good poppers. Choose, pick whatever you think will work for you. They all will work, in my opinion, as long as they have stout hardware that you know. Well, if you hook up to a big one, could get them in. Then you're basically all set. So yeah, my number five right here is right here. This is pencil popper a must have. All right. <clears throat> So my number four um, is going to have to be this guy right here. This is a Savage Eel. Uh, a lot of people actually use this or the El Gag. And I really like this one. It's it's pretty cheap. And uh, I gotta be honest, I didn't catch anything on this. But when I went up there and fished with some of the guys, they swear by this. And uh, most of the big fish um, getting caught up there is caught on this jigging at night. So it works. Um, when the elitist striper guys up there are killing it with this, you know, it's got to make my top five. So I did jig this and I did have a bite but it came off so um, this is the actual sand eel color but then you could always you could also put a macro tail on it yeah and again super deadly and that's why they're on this list all right so my um, third lure uh, actually I think I caught my biggest fish on this lure when I was up there uh, and that is this guy right here. This is the Sabil Stick Shad, which is, again, no stranger to any, I mean, to the Cape Cod Canal. This is like a, a must-have when you're out there. Uh, I recommend this white color, and I also recommend the chrome color. Uh, I love this lure. It's easy to use. Cast out there, reel back in. Cast out there, reel back in covering water you could jerk the rod a little bit to give it a little bit more action because when this guy comes through the water he just kind of just kind of does this just kind of wobbles back and forth and this is like the perfect size uh bait fish um it matches the hatch up there really nicely uh and drives the stripers nuts i mean i've caught like i said i caught i think my biggest one this one right here my, the only downside is i think it's the it's hollow inside and the plastic you use is like not too durable. Uh, long story short, I bought a brand new one, cast it out, and on the way back in, it came back and, and barely tapped a rock, and it, it cracked. And right after that, water started getting in, and it wasn't swimming like it was supposed to anymore. So it's only downside, but this this is definitely still a must-have in your bag. Alright, so before I get to number two, I need you guys to uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and like this video for me. Alright, thanks. Alright, so number two 
in my opinion, is another must-have. Uh, believe it or not, when I was up there, I I did not get a bite on this lure, only because I didn't cast it cast it too much. But this is number two because it definitely works really really well and super easy to use. That is the another spill, um, Magic Summer. This lore, when it first came out, uh, nobody really knew about it. But the guys up at the canal, uh, Sharpers really started turning on to this guy, and they made this like the basically the number one, in my opinion, Cape Cod uh, canal striper lure. Super easy. You cast it out there. And you just reel it back. You don't even have to like play with the um, jerk it or anything. It literally is jointed. So it just swims back. Drives those drivers crazy up there. Uh, I do recommend the white. This white. This one right here is actually just a uh, a canal bait, bait and tackle uh, version I believe. Um, you can also get it off of eBay. I will have links to... All these below um, I got this one off of Amazon but it's it's rigged up the canal way with a barrel swivel the back hook taken off with a 4x strong um, treble yep yep and like I said super deadly up there all right so let's get to my let's get to my number one and this lore, believe it or not, <clears throat> caught the most fish for me up there. So, and I've been, I, it's, it's made it onto ba basically all my top five, um, <laughs> top five uh, um, lore reviews. Again, this right here is the Yuzuri Hydro Minnow. And this is how it comes out of the box with some uh, 4x strong hooks, strong split rings, so you don't even have to you don't have to mess with it. You, I just fished this right out uh, right out of the box and caught most of my fish on this right here. Yeah. So and this guy, I fish at night. I fish it in the morning, right before sunrise. I'm fishing midday, evenings. You can fish this guy any time of the day and. If the fish are there, it will produce. You don't see a lot of guys throwing, uh, like, um, SP minnows or these hydro minnows at the canal, but they work. So, they worked so well for me when I was up there. But yeah, that's my top five um, Cape Cod striper lures. And if you bring these up there, you definitely will catch fish. Um, yeah. So that's it, and I will. Leave you guys with this little footage and I'll see you guys in the next one. So thanks for watching everybody. Oh yeah yeah. Small. Small. Okay, I say that but I got my drag on pretty tight. Same size again. Nope, small. Yeah. <laughs> it's like your size, gone. Okay, guy. Okay. Okay, hold on. Huh? Like, yeah, like I. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, but stop freeloading. I need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you guys on the next one.